Today I'm going to talk a little bit about the top five ingredients you will need in your pantry to make all your own cosmetics and personal care products. And these are the top five ingredients you will need for the bases of all your cosmetics. So first off, and probably the most important, is some sort of wax. I prefer to use beeswax, and I bought this one pound block several years ago, and it was probably an extra two inches longer than this, and it's lasted quite a long time, just organic beeswax. But if you prefer to keep it vegan and you don't want to use beeswax, a carnauba wax is also important. Waxes will solidify for making lip balms and bases for many types of creams and lotions and deodorants and anything you need that's going to be in somewhat of a solid form. Next up is a selection of oils. Now you can choose any oils you like based on your skin type and what you would like to have in the base of your cosmetics. I tend to use olive oil and sunflower oil quite a lot and the difference in oils can also make a difference in the texture of your final cosmetics. Oils that stay liquid like olive oil, sunflower oil and sesame seed oil will make a softer cream or a runnier base. Oils that are more solid that can harden up in the fridge like avocado oil and coconut oil will add a little more thicker texture to your creams and lotions or deodorants or whatever it is you're going to make. Next up is butters. Now I prefer cocoa butter but you can also use shea butter and butters sort of act between the wax and the oils. They add some texture and thickness to your cosmetic products, not quite as hard as the wax and a little bit harder than these solid oils. So oftentimes you'll want to have some sort of butter, whether it's a cocoa butter like these cocoa butter wafers or shea butter. Now we'll get into the powders. Clay is a very important base for many cosmetics for face powders as well as deodorants and anti-itch creams. My preference is the bentonite clay. However, any good quality white clay will do, like this white kale and cosmetic clay available at Mountain Rose Herbs. So a good quality clay is a good replacement for talc, which can be very irritating to the skin and can contain asbestos and is not healthy. So you'll want some sort of clay to make your powders and your dry bases for your cosmetics. And lastly is starches. Now, you can use organic cornstarch in many cosmetics, but be sure that it is organic and it's not as beneficial to your skin as a starch like arrowroot powder. So, my preference is the arrowroot powder, and you will need starches again for powders and dry bases and deodorants and anything that you want to go on smooth and powdery that doesn't have quite a greasy feel as just a standard oil-based cosmetic. If you're making your own cosmetics and you're looking for a collection of base ingredients, look for good quality organic ingredients. It still ends up to be a, a lot cheaper than buying pre-made cosmetics and it's much healthier for your skin. And be sure to store your ingredients properly. You want to keep oils in the refrigerator after they've been opened so they don't go rancid especially nut oils or seed oils. I also keep my butters in the refrigerator. Beeswax and carnauba wax can be just kept in any pantry, as can the powders. So that's it for this Top 5 Tuesday. If you're collecting some cosmetic base ingredients, these are the top five ingredients you want to look for. That's a starch a clay, a wax, some oils, and some butters.